and welcome. Yeah, see you from Tax TV. Hope you're all well. Oh, you had a good Christmas. Not the result, not the the weather as well for the travel to Atkinson Stanley. All weathers, rain, hail, sleet, snow. I think we made it all, didn't we? Really, um, just about Sunday's day up where we're going to go. Uh, where do we start? Officiating, missed chances. It's a culmination of a lot of things, really. Uh, don't want to make a, a program, a show about the officiating, but wow. Well, and before people start like saying things in comments and stuff like that, I'm going to be respectful. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, that officiating was woeful. Absolutely shocking, shocking. And I've seen comments going round about, you know, it's on a part to Willard. And I just, I, so inconsistent. So the build up to their goal for a start looked offside. You know, a penalty for that. Really, should we, should we have had a penalty for a similar offence? What happened? And for for Cole, had he got to car at last stages? Are that one a penalty? I don't know. And before people are saying, yeah, you're going to be biased. I'm, I'm calling it as it is. And I'm not. It's not just down to the referee, the, 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 the officiating. I think we missed some opportunities as well. If I'm being honest, we had 20 shots, five on target. Again. And the amount of corners we were creating. A lot of things, I think it's been highlighted that where problem areas are and, you know, for them just to equalise and they've come away with a point. It felt like a loss for me and probably many others. In up and stand, you know, cold, miserable, it, it, you know, and I saw on uh, online and that saying that what a uh, coach what I got brought down as well. And then getting caught up in M62 on way back, so we were a lot of it were a, a long, a long day, a long day, and to come away from from that game feeling as if I thought we'd just done enough to deserve a win. I don't think Ackerton really offered much as in a, a threat. But again, I think woeful chance of it we've missed. Hamilton, I thought, weren't refs here all the time. I thought uh, he were in uh, that Rebecca's ear all the time, more than a complaint. I think that was one of the reasons why Luke Connell got subbed off. Um, again, I think that affected us a lot. I'm not, I'm not taking out away from Matty Wolf, who came on for him as well. Um, it was just one of them things that. You could see what going to happen where, in my eyes anyway, I don't know about uh, people what's watching, you know, leave your comments and thoughts about this. In my eyes is that I could have seen Luca getting sent off just basically because of the poor officiating, the poor refereeing. And like I said, it, it, inconsistent, inconsistent in it. And so frustrating as well is that you're having to take a player off Barely just on fact, in my opinion, is that possibly could have been sent off for Alton No and Hamilton for their, you know, for Ackington constantly, constantly. I, I saw a shoulder barge. I've, I've rewatched it again. Game. I've shot. I've since shoulder barge into Luke Connell when going to referee. Not got brought up on that. Uh, when they got penalty awarded, you know playing up to our players, pointing video penalty and, you know, getting getting involved in stuff what it didn't really involve him. But again, referee, you were buying it and it, it kind of affected our game. Going on to, like I said, missed chances and stuff. There is almost enemy. I thought Cadden, Phillips, Later, you know, last stages, I thought, you know, the opportunity's gone. I thought Phillips had a decent game, to be fair. I'm not taking out away from him. Uh, Anderson, I thought he had a decent game. Norwood, goal, took it well. And to, to a certain extent, I thought, Herbie Kane had a decent game, trying to 
knit things close together. Um, I don't think there were many players for Barnes that really had a poor game, to be fair. They put the weight effort in, but, you know, Martin, again, the one thing I would say is that I'm surprised that what we, that many substitutes being made by us. That were a bit of a surprise by me. Don't know what you think about it, but I thought Jallo might have come on for the last 15 minutes. In conditions, a bit tricky, a bit of pace. I know what he can do. When he gets hold of the ball and runs at him. Who knows? But again, I'm not, you know, I'm not like making up excuses. I'm not saying stuff like that, but we only use a couple of subs. And I was surprised that, you know, an old didn't change. Uh, Michael and his backroom staff might have seen things differently. I might have been happy with what was going off. Uh, but for me, you've got H and uh, and Jallo on bench to to attacking options here, but didn't seem to do it. And Josh Martin came on when Martin did come on. He didn't really do it for me. He looks a bit, I don't know, not in it. Uh, he weren't on it. Some wasted, woeful passes. Um, so, yeah, I was surprised with uh, Martin coming on. Getting on to the, the overall performance by the team, I mean, attacking threat war there, were, like I said, we're creating stuff. Amount of corners what we're getting. First half, I believe he should have been two, maybe three now to put first half. And I think it had made it a bit easier for us. But whatever it were, only one goal and poor officiating. But always that bit of doubt there, whether it's going to be a bit of a nick or a deflection, with, you know. Whether or it was, you were always unknown. But like I said, they got a penalty. And for me, we should have had one in later stages when uh, Cole went down. Why should Cole go down there? There's no reason for him to go down there. And like I said, I've re watched it. And for me, it's a clear penalty. Felt like a loss. You look at the. The position where we're at the table, yeah, we're still fourth, although we're a few points behind. We've got a couple of games in hand. I'd rather have points in bag rather than games in hand, if you know what I mean. My man at the match, it was a bit of a toss up, it was a bit, a bit of a, a decision. This, um, I had three players in mind I had Herbie uh, Kane, I had Adam Phillips, and I had Mads Anderson. Um, if you're what you know, you're watching back, leave your comments below. Who you, who you think your uh, man at the match was for me. It's an hard in this, but between them three, I'm not down to possibly two, and I'm going to slightly go with Anderson. Anderson, just ahead of Phillips. Kane in third, but it were an hard, it were an hard one to call because. I think they didn't really offer up, but they did. We seemed to deal with it pretty well. Kitchen in first half in particular were coming forward and trying to bring ball out again. Chances missed, you know. But for me, it's an hard one to call this line. But I'm just going to get Anderson. And it, like I say, it's no disrespect. There's, there's probably a few more in, in up in mix. You know, not no would for his goal and his work rate while we're putting him. Uh, Phillips, like I said, Kane, Nicky Cadden, bombing down, left-hand side at wing. Again, probably maybe should have tested their goalkeeper out a bit more with a few long shots in, you know, while, while we're in them kind of positions. Phillips, I know from resulting free kick, what we got, he hit it, he come back and he caught it left. And again, they were unlucky, but confidence is very large. So he got an assist, didn't he? But yeah, I'm going to get Anderson. I'm going to get Anderson. So we move on to Fleetwood. Move on to Fleetwood. Our own game. Pick, pick. You know, does the sons down? Pick his, pick his sons back up. It. Let's like, so hope we be a bit more clinical when we get his chances. Come Fleetwood, and I think January is going to be interesting to say the least. Um, areas that we we I think we all need. We we all know what needs recruited in. Let me know your thoughts below about that. One thing left to say, you reds. <laughs>